Breaking news out of Georgia tonight, where for the first time in 70 years, a woman has just been executed. Her children, even the Pope, beg for mercy. And although it wasn't enough to save her life from the death penalty, it may spark renewed hope for an Oklahoma man scheduled to die by lethal injection tomorrow. The supporters rally to save his life. Tonight, tears outside the prison where Kelly Gissendaner became the first woman in 70 years to be executed in Georgia. Shine, Kelly Gissendaner was convicted in 1997 of conspiring with her lover to stab her husband to death. The lover who committed the actual murder is serving a life sentence because he confessed and struck a plea deal. Kelly's children were kids when their father was murdered. From what I remember about my dad, I know that he wouldn't have wanted my mom to be executed. But now as adults, they say they've forgiven their mother. She's not the same woman who went to prison. She's gone back to school, counseled other inmates behind bars. They begged the state to keep her alive. Forgiving our mother was the best way to truly honor our dad's memory. But not even a message from the Pope could keep Gessendaner alive. His representative asking the state to commute the sentence to one that would better express both justice and mercy. Last week, hundreds took to the streets to protest the decision to kill Gissendain. And a thousand miles away in Oklahoma tonight, in yet another controversial and highly public case, Richard Glossop is awaiting his execution. Unless things change by this time tomorrow, he could be dead. He's set to be executed despite support voicing his innocence. But Glossop was found guilty in two separate trials, the first thrown out for an alleged murder for hire in a motel room against his former boss, Barry Van Trees, in 1997. There was no physical evidence found linking Glossop to the murder. The conviction relied heavily on the testimony of Justin Sneed, the man who confessed to the actual murder and is currently serving a life sentence in prison. I think he's totally innocent and he's, there's a sweetness and goodness about him. Sister Helen Prejean has been at the forefront of the fight against the death penalty and the fight to keep Richard Glossop alive. You think Richard Glossop is innocent, yes? Yeah. Why? There's no forensic evidence at all to implicate Richard Glossop. Her advocacy work was portrayed by Susan Sarandon, the film version of her book, Dead Man Walking. As your friend, I want to help you die with dignity. Sarandon herself has taken up this cause. He's a perfect example of what's wrong with the death penalty. He's clearly innocent, and on top of that, the guy who actually killed the person is in a minimum security prison for the rest of his life. Sarandon brought the story to the Dr. Phil show to garner public support for Glossop, breaking down after reading a letter he wrote. It's very upsetting. You believe that if you're unjustly accused, that people will realize it, and it's just... Uh, I'm, in, I'm heartbroken for the state of our judicial system as much as I'm heartbroken for this man. Glossop's family maintains he was set up and that the prosecution failed to show the jury key evidence that could have helped his case. There's no way this man did this. There's not an evil bone in, in him. There's, there's nothing violent about him. He's never had a violent past. He's never been in trouble at all with the law before this. This is my partner. Like the interrogation tape of Sneed from 1997 that never made its way into the courtroom. Glossop's legal team says Sneed was being baited by police. We know that this involves more than just you. But some still maintain that Glossop deserves the death sentence. Richard Glossop has been convicted by not one, but two juries of 12 of murder in the first degree. That he intentionally masterminded the murder of a 54-year-old father of five children. Richard Glossop spoke to Sky News from behind bars. I didn't commit this crime, and there's no doubt in my mind that I may die because of this. I'm truly sorry for what happened to Barry. I am, but I had nothing to do with it. Glossop was first arrested nearly 20 years ago. His daughter, Christina, was 13 at the time. I'm a daddy's girl, so I was always with my dad. I've been up there trying to visit him as much as I can and talk to him as much as I can now. I was mad then, and I'm still mad now. Her younger sister, Erica, joined demonstrators at the state capitol, asking that her father not be executed. He's accepted it. He said where he wants his remains to be, you know, poured out at, and I don't like hearing it, but 
we have to talk about it sometimes. And for a moment, two weeks ago, it seemed their prayers had been answered. Convicted murderer Richard Glossop has been granted a two-week stay of execution. Mr. Glossop? Glossop was hopeful when speaking to ABC affiliate KOCO on the phone. It's just a great feeling to, you know, that the courts are going to take their time. They're going to actually look at what we turn in. But time is running out, and unless the governor grants a 60-day stay, Glossop will die by lethal injection tomorrow afternoon. Since the year 1973, there have been 155 inmates on death row who've been found not guilty and exonerated, including five this year, like Anthony Ray Hinton. For 30 years, Hinton had been a dead man walking. Thank you, Tebow. Thank you, Lord. Would you believe this is the first time I've been in the rain in 30 years? How do you it's, like it? it feel wonderful. Yes, it feel wonderful. Right. We were there for his first day of freedom earlier this year. So what's yeah. it like now to be able to walk, where you want to walk, when you want to walk? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I really have to catch myself. 53 other inmates in Hinton's prison were executed while he was on death row. My darkest memory would be seeing so many people that I got to know be executed. Today he's thankful to be alive and finally free. A feeling Richard Glossop is hoping for tonight, but the Van Trees family maintains Glossop should get the death penalty, releasing this statement to the Tulsa World newspaper earlier this month. Execution of Richard Glossop will not bring Barry back or lessen the empty hole left in the lives of those who love Barry. What it does provide is a sense that justice has been served. Put yourselves in the shoes of the victim's family, his wife, his five children. Wonder what they're going through tonight. You ever heard the phrase, there ain't no justice? I wonder if that's what they're thinking tonight. Sister Helen sees justice differently. I've seen their eyes when they come out of the execution chamber and they're going to go home and the chair is still going to be just as empty as it was before they saw the execution. You've been on this road a number of times. What do you say to a dead man walking? That I'm fighting in every way I can to resist this death. His death is wrong. I believe it's wrong for the government to be in a position of killing even the guilty people, much less the innocent.